Alright guys, Cover Killer Nation, welcome back. It's time for us to review some black metal today. It's time for us to review some fucking awesome black metal. I can't wait. I hope you guys can't wait. This is a new release that was just released this past Tuesday, and it is entitled... Wait, hold on. I got the glasses on, so I know... Oh no. They fucking didn't. They fucking didn't! No, they fucking did They fucking did! They fucking did! Almost as though they... I don't want to review this! Nobody should review this! This shouldn't have even happened! This shouldn't be in existence! This should not have been done! This shouldn't have been touched! This is an insult! This is a goddamn insult! That's what the fuck it is! Okay, fine! I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll satisfy all of you! I'll satisfy my own fucking curiosity! And I'll satisfy all ten or eleven of you! I'm reviewing Country Goes Black Metal! Yeah, country goes black metal! As if two things were more polar opposites. As if two things did not need to be done. As if two things should not be touched. It's not like black metal musicians are thinking to themselves, you know what, I really like that Miranda Lambert song a lot. I think I'm going to cover it. No, if they did that, it'd be abominable. It'd be terrible. It wouldn't sound anything like the black metal music that we love. I don't see why anybody would do this, or why, even more so, it would be released. Ah, oh, let's start first off with the track listing, and I'm going to do this on a track-by-track -track basis. A little bit different than what I typically do anymore, but this one really, really fucking deserves it. Yeah, I kind of lied to you in the intro. I've already listened to this miserable pile of goat shit, so I'm pretty well prepared. Track one is a Marduk cover, Baptism by Fire, which is off of an album entitled Panzer Division Marduk. And it's done by the Zach Brown Band. Now, the Zach Brown Band didn't do Baptism by Fire. They did their own fucking thing entitled Baptism by Christ. This is the most monotonous piece of shit that I've ever heard. Zach Brown Band should not be on this planet. They shouldn't be. That chicken fried song could go fuck itself right, up to, right to a KFC's fucking drive through window. I don't give a fuck about this song. Don't change the fucking shit if you're going to actually go black metal. And the music just sounds like country only with an electric property. Doesn't really help matters. Track number two. Oh, you gotta be fucking joking me. Atomic Chapel by 1349, done by Jason Aldean. Now listen, Jason Aldean, I understand it's your kind of party and all this bullshit. You can actually play guitar, but no. No, 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 no. Stay the fuck away from my genre, you fucking miserable cuntbag. Listen, if these spoops box over here and these spackazoids over here decided to collaborate and do one of your songs and it was done in grindcore, would you appreciate it? I don't think so! So I'm sure that the guys at 1349 basically want to eat you. Number three, the sections where dead angels lie done by Lady Annabellum. Okay. Let's talk about this. This is a fucking bullshit excuse for a fucking product placement because this was not where Dead Angels Lie by Dissection, Lady Annabelle. This was just your song, Need You Now, with a giant banner at the end that said, Buy Need You Now by Lady Annabelle. It's only $9.99. You want to buy this album because it's the best country album of 2010. Nobody cares. You lost the goddamn Album of the Year award to Arcade Fire. Shut up and live with it and actually do the cover if you're going to commit to this. God damn it. Let's go next before I fucking have a stroke. Mayhem's Anti, done by Brantley Gilbert. Well, all I can say is this. Brantley, you decided to go with a black metal legend, but you went with a song from Bad Mayhem! You can't even do good mayhem! What about all this stuff from, oh, I don't know, the early 1990s? No, you have to go off Ordo and KO, which just came out a couple of years ago and wasn't all that great. Why? Why? Such a wealth of possibility, such a number of songs that you could have gone with, and you went with this one? Why? Doesn't make any sense. Onward to the next. Sugarland doing Dark Fortresses, Even Fall. Wow. As if the mood of that song, as if Even Fall could not be damaged. I didn't think it could be damaged at all. It was one of these most perfect songs that I had heard in the year 2010. I loved it. I loved the entire album. But Sugarland singing it. With that raspily, nasally, happy, country, little demeanor of yours, that little swagger of yours, fuck you! Fuck you! You took something that I loved and you destroyed it. And you know what happens whenever people take things that I love and destroy it. I find them in the street, I drag them into a dark alley, and I beat them and then sexually molest them. 
okay, I don't really do that. But you're really starting to tempt me. Track number six, Burzum's Fallen, done by Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson. And I saw a music video for this, where he was actually line dancing to Burzum. Line dancing to Burzum. How this works, I don't know. All I gotta say is, Alan Jackson, I hope that your endeavor to start the world's longest line dance is a successful one, because then all of America can return to their lives, but wait, it won't be successful, because I would say 99.9999999% of Americans are busy not giving a shit! Fuck you for this! Number seven, Big and Rich doing Watan's Reaping Death. All I'm going to say to this is simple. Big and rich, you have no careers anymore. This is not going to help revitalize it. In fact, if anything, it's going to damn you into the abominable pit that is known as you should have retired. Taylor Swift doing Immortals Tyrants. Are we seriously going into Taylor Swift territory here, guys? Are we really going here? Not to mention it's Tyrants. It's a classic. It's something I just saw live about a month and a half ago, and it was awesome. It was incredible. Probably one of the best songs that I've ever gotten to see live. Not to mention the interaction with the crowd was spellbinding. And Taylor Swift gets this abominable piece of nonsense? What the fuck is this? What the hell is going on? And she did it in her traditional style, too. Where the first two parts of the song are done in the traditional style. And then she took it up for the third verse and changed it. She changed the last chorus, too. What the hell? If you're going to cover a song, cover it with the right words. If you're going to cover a song, don't change it. Don't shift it around. I understand you have to do it in your style. Listen, I get that. We've been over this tons of times before with Punk Goes Pop and Punk Goes This and Punk Goes That. But this is something that really, it's not that hard. It is not difficult. There's not 5,000 different undulations to black metal. Number nine, Miranda Lambert covering Fall to Pieces by Patsy Cline. That's not even a black metal song! That is better reserved for Country Ghost Classic. This track immediately gets flushed down the toilet. And you know what? Here's the sad part. My dad actually likes Patsy Cline, and she's kind of well-respected. The fact that this is on Country Ghost Black Metal, well, Patsy Cline right now is rolling over in her grave, and whoever's next to her, I don't care if it's man, woman, child, or beast, is slowly devouring on her entrails. Finally. Finally, we're till track 10. The last track. And wait a second. Ishan's After by Johnny Cash? Johnny Cash wasn't even alive whenever this song was released. This was just released last year. Johnny Cash has been dead for like three years. How the hell is this possible? Well, I gotta say, out of all the songs on this particular record, this is the song that I like the most. Basically because Johnny Cash doesn't bullshit around. He does covers extremely well. He actually is a very respectable artist. And, well, I have no complaints about this song. This song is actually really, really good. And we also have a bonus track on this. We have a bonus track on this abysmal piece of goat vomit. As though we needed another Jack's back to come in here and decide that, to fill in his two cents on this particular album. As if we needed another redonkulous spoof move to come across and just take a piss on the whole genre already. We have one more goddamn song to listen to. What the hell is it? What the hell is it? I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's Revolution Is My Name by Justin Bieber. That should sum it up. And this should also sum it up. This is probably one of the most miserable experiences that I've ever had in my entire life. I don't understand why I fucking torture myself just for you guys. What the hell have you done for me in return? Subscribed? Maybe giving me some money? Not yet giving me shit, goddammit. You just give me a fucking migraine. I fucking hate all of you. The fact that I had to listen to this piece of shit just to report it back to you guys is absolute crazy bullshit. I fucking hate it. This is absolute nonsense. I'm not doing this again. Cover Killer Nation is retiring after this miserable piece of experience. I don't want to do this anymore, and I don't think I should have to after having to listen to Country Goes Black Metal, which is in stores now. Now, if you please, just leave me alone. Maybe I can restore some order back to my life and not be so pissed off. We're going to try. April Fools, motherfuckers.